Ladies and gentlemen, CAW fans worldwide, we welcome you to an event over eight years in the making. We welcome you to the inaugural episode of the Universal Championship Wrestling League. Wait a minute, no! Arrow, Queen's Gambit! Queen's Gambit for the second time! Here's the cover! One, two, two he three. got him! Oh, wait a minute, Ramsey trying to go for a cheap shot, and Morimoto is opening up on him. And Morimoto tossing Gordon Ramsey over the top rope, and these fans are loving it. CWL champion, now wait a minute. What, what the hell? Nathan Explosion. Nathan Explosion assaulting the Green Arrow from behind. And oh, here, here they come. Tyrone Magnus and Akasan hitting the ring. And what? Bogard now. Oh, wait a minute. The burning knuckle. This time he connects with the burning knuckle. Two, and he got him. Oh God, Nathan, no, no, don't do this. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh my God. He, he's still ranting. Does he know there's a match going on right now? But, whoa, what the tornado kick from Boyk out of nowhere. No way, what, do it. That's it! Well, wait a minute! There she is! Daisy Johnson coming in through the crowd and attacking Bo from behind! Oh, what a match this is gonna be between those two and Queens of Wrestling 2! And this time he got him! Cover! Is he gonna get it here? Two! He got him! Here he comes off the top! Oh! Yuri Boyka is now the number one contender to the UCWL Championship. Oh, well, wait a minute, look at this! What the? The Sith Lords? Maul and Kytus? Th th now they jump the reactors in another part of the building? He was born last episode, Nathan Explosion was, and now Levi's getting his revenge right here and right now on Nathan Explosion. What's this gonna be here? Oh, a 450 splash off the top. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do, do not adjust your computer screens. It is indeed raining in the arena right now. And now the two are fighting back. Oh, wait a minute. It's Keith Abacary. Listen to this ovation for the first lady of Marvel. Gary Boyka coming to the aid of Green Arrow. And oh, I spoke too soon. Oh God, no. No, not this. Oh, come on. Oh, God. He's going to be lining up for something here. Oh, mid-second. Oh, wait. William Wallace. Is that? Oh, my God, it is. That's Madison Lockhart from Destiny Championship Alliance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Light. Light. Ah! Light! Light is going to prestige! Luffy. Oh, wait. No. No, Luffy. No. Luffy. Oh, God! Yes.
stronger than they can tell Cause I, I can turn it around But there's more than Ladies and gentlemen, virtual wrestling fans worldwide, we are live from the birthplace of the Universal Championship Wrestling League, the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in lovely Long Island, New York, as we welcome you to the 25th episode of UCWL Showdown. Hello everyone, this is VPOC alongside everybody's favorite commentator, Mr. SRH. What is up? UCWL, Mr. SRH here in the LI. And man, this is going to be a lit night if I do say so myself. It most certainly is SRH celebrating 25 episodes of Showdown. That's right, later tonight we're going to have the contract signing for the UCWL Championship match at Act of Valor between Green Arrow and Light Yagami. Of course, Light Yagami is here tonight, and he has the UCWL Championship with him. Or at least, I believe, as we get ready for our opening contest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest for this evening, and it is a tag team match, and it's set for one fall. Here's a team we haven't seen in quite a while. I think this is actually my first match. Well, I mean, this is the first time I'm calling their match. That's right, yeah. We haven't, this is their, actually their first match since they debuted at Cold Day in Hell during the Tag Team Turmoil match, or at least their first live televised match. But boy, do they have a mountain of And that was about a one. year ago. As here comes their opponents. And their opponents, team number two, from New York City, the team of Rocksteady, and b -Bob. So we already know who's gonna win this. Rocksteady and b -Bob. They are the I number mean, one contenders. For the UCWL Tag Team Titles. They're gonna challenge the Big Bang Theory for those belts at Act of Valor. And it's a good thing Zahaya is not here because Zahaya has been, he's been kind of, you know, marking out for these two as of late. Well, I mean, in a sense, you kind of can't blame Zahaya because, I mean, have you seen these guys? And get a good look at them. Uh, Roxanne and Beepop are monsters. Oh, God. Drive kick there. Well, of course, who could forget what Rocksteady and Bebop did to the Big Bang Theory at Unbound. And look at this. The Flea trying to suplex Rocksteady. Good luck with that. And... Oh, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I, I, have... There is kind of one thing I've noticed. Like we, oh, God, Rocksteady with a short arm close on it. I was about to say, we have not seen the Big Bang Theory on UCWL programming since Unbound. Um, yeah. And considering who's going gunning after them right now, do you blame oh. them for now? Oh, God. 
Yeah. Rocksteady. Yeah, do you, yeah, do you Rocksteady. blame? Rocksteady and Bebop laid out the Big Bang Theory at Unbound, and they haven't been on UCWL programming ever since. I don't blame them, to be honest. I'd, I'd, if I were if I were Leonard and Sheldon, I'd stay as far away from UCWL. Oh, <laughs> believe really? Look at this now. Oh, Shinbreaker there by Bebop. But yeah, that's probably the smartest things for the champs to do. Stay away from UCWL until they absolutely need to show up again. Oh! Well, again, if Sahaya was here, he'd probably go on by saying that the Big Bang Theory are scared of Rocksteady and Bebop, that the inevitable, that his opinion, the inevitable is that Rocksteady oh. and Bebop would take the tag team titles from them. Um, I could say that, but I'm not going to say it with the uh, anger and the enjoyment, the pseudo anger enjoyment deal. Oh, God, look at that. Rope yeah. assist and into Gary from Rocksteady. Yeah, Ricochet not not faring too well here against Ooh. Rocksteady and Bebop. Look at that Ricochet, though. Not to be confused with the Ricochet in NXT. Of course, I'm sure you're familiar with Mucha Lucha, Mr. SRH. Uh, somewhat. Oh, DT oh. there from Ricochet. Yeah, nice counter there. Mucha Lucha going to have to use their speed and their oh, quickness Leora. to take down the challenge, the challenges for the tag titles. Uh, yeah. And yeah, they are. I mean, what a... Look at this, Dragon like, Sleeper here. What an upset would this be oh. Oh. if Mucha Lucha could somehow knock off Rocksteady and Bebop. I mean, it's a big mountain to climb, that's for sure. One big mountain, the, the, those are two gigantic mountains. Those are Everest in the ring with some ants. Oh, Rocksteady now tags in Bebop. Anyways, as I was saying, I agree with Zahaya's statement, with Zahaya's potential statement. I think Big Bang Theory are scared because they know that if they get into the ring or even go anywhere near UCW well, their title run could be in jeopardy. But I'm not going to say it with the uh, hatred towards Big Bang Theory like Zahaya does. Oh, God, I'm running as the OT Ricochet. I'm going to say it with, uh, with somebody who has a brain. Well, tag is made. Here comes the flea back in. Oh, uh, look at this, though. Oh, and Flea trying to yeah. fight back yeah, best Bebop, he can. Bebop was trying to take the Flea to his corner. It's looking like it's working for him right now. And as you see, look at this. The flea must have up some strength to get him in the tree of low position and followed it up with a stomp. Oh, and the hot tag is made. Tag is made to Rocksteady. You got a rhinoceros coming after you. Oh, God. Yeah, and that's why you don't see Rocksteady and Bebop go to the top row. R Rocksteady took a hard fall to the outside. Like, Flea, if I were you, man, stay stay in the middle of the ring. Uh, a win is a win, no, no matter what. On this now, referee Brett Chan... Starting to count here. He's up to four. Now five. Rocksteady did take a huge tumble to the floor. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he got concussed from that fall. Flea, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I have to admit, that's kind of a mistake there by the Flea. He Not only did he reset that count, but he, he ran he's running the risk of getting flattened. Yeah, not a that was not a smart move on the part of Flea. He could have got taken the count out victory, but I guess that's not what Mucha Lucha is oh. all about. Big DDT the there. Cover. One, two, no. And Rocksteady kicks out at two. Well, clearly M Mucha Lucha needs to rethink their game plan because they had a solid one by just waiting for Rocksteady to get counted out. 
Oh, tag is made. What is wait, it? wait. Hold up a what second. Is this? Oh. Power bomb, doomsday device type of maneuver there. I, I, that is their finisher. I don't know what they call the it, though. Oh! I'm going to call it the Lucha device. Well, I mean, it, it's it's pretty accurate if you say if I do say so myself, and we see a next snap there. Okay, and this. ricochet, sleeper slam. Yeah, Mucha Lucha holding their own here against the number one contenders for the tag titles. Boom! Nice kick nice there for kick ricochet. To the the head. Now tag is made. Oh, wait. It's oh. doing it again. A second. Mucha Lucha device. Oh. And, and, oh, what are you doing, Ricochet? You had him down. And now. Oh. Mucha Lucha control here. Reversal. Oh. And, and, and this is this is where the fall of man is gonna gonna happen, isn't it? I don't know. Tag is beta. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Those are some rather thick knees going against this. Oh, going against the guy. Definitely think the flea might be regretting not going for the pit after that after that move, but. I think the Flea is probably regretting not going with a count out victory. Oh, I mean, let's just face rock it. Steady. Oh, Snake Eyes in the corner. Wait, 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 wait look, look at this. At this. Able to use the momentum that Bebop had with his stomps against him and be able to trip him up like that. And now the tag is made to Ricochet. Oh, that's so elbow to the gut up there by Bebop. And, oh, no, 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 Ricochet. Lands on his feet. Inverted Hurricane Rana there. Off the ropes. Oh! Nice splash there from... Ricochet. And now what, what's Ricochet doing? In the corner. Tag is made to the flea. Look at that. Nice. Ooh. Nice double team nice work there team. from Lucha Lucha. The flea's going to the top rope. Ooh, it hits a cross body one. No. Oh, God. Bebop kicked out at one. I'm saying it, man. I'm saying it's Fleecho taking that, that count out victory. Oh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to straight up be honest. The, the longer Rocksteady and Bebop are in this match, the more it benefits them. Oh, elbow to the face there from the Flea. Let's yeah, go. and uh, Bebop is uh, Bebop staring in the reduce us. Elbow kind of. Oh! oh! There he had to. Huge clothesline there from Bebop. And now, tag is made. Oh, uh, this is it. SRH. They call this the Crank Crusher. Oh. Yeah, I remember. And now, yeah, and it just flattened the flea. I don't think one, the flea's getting up after two, it. Two, three. And this three. one's over. I, 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 I was correct in my assumption. Flea had this match potentially won just by count out, but instead, no, he had, he had, he felt something in the back of his head. That was called Pride. Pride was messing with him. And to quote Marcellus Wallace, Pride only gets you hurt. It never helps. And guess what? 
Guess what? Crank correction. That's what. Now, like I said, it's a good thing Zahai is not here, otherwise he'd be probably flipping out over this victory right now. There would be a waterfall coming out of his big mouth. Big lipped mouth. Because he'd be salivating at the fact that Roxanne and Bebop just sprayed Raid all over the fleet. Here are your winners, the team of Rocksteady. And people. Well, uh, hopefully the Big Bang Theory are watching this wherever they are. They're going to have to defend those titles against Rocksteady and Bebop and Act of Valor, but well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We got more action to come after this.
And, and we're back. Yeah, Android 13 apparently still a little sour over that loss to William Wallace last week. I'd say he's a little short-circuited about that fact. Man, what, what's this? Oh, there oh. he is. I was, huh. Now he's here. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is an Elimination Chamber qualifying match and is set for one fall. champion in UCW history. That, yeah, of course, as you see, Gordon Ramsay covered in the ring with this championship belt that he designed from his own, with his own money, the self-proclaimed Hell's Kitchen champion. Even the though, greatest even though unsanctioned is, champion in UCW world. Even though that belt is not sanctioned by UCWL or or its board of directors. It's not then wait, wait, wait. Wait, what what about in any case? Oh boy, Gordon Ramsey's gonna have his hands full here tonight. And his opponent from Haven City, Jack! Looks like it's going to be Gordon Ramsay versus Jack the Terminus Spot inside the Elimination Chamber at Act of Valor. And in case you missed that last week, SRH, the Elimination Chamber is coming to UCWL. Wait, what's coming to UCWL? The Elimination Chamber. Oh, dear God. On our last episode, both William Wallace and Skeletor qualified for the Elimination Chamber. And now we're going to see if either Gordon Ramsay or Jack will qualify and join them in the chamber. You know, here's something I got to bring up to you, V-Pog, and Paulson, I hope you're listening closely because there's something I kind of wanted to bring up. Ever since Gordon Ramsay made that title, he, he essentially carried himself as the greatest unsanctioned champion in UCWL history. There's a lot of people that actually want a shot at that belt. I kid you not. I get tons and tons of messages on Twitter, on the on the Wrestling Fantasy Showdown Facebook page, saying, "Hey." Who can we talk to about... Oh, face buster there from Gordon Ramsay. Who can we talk to about getting somebody a shot at Gordon Ramsay for his Hell's Kitchen title? I told him I'm not the person in charge of UCW, even though I'm there a lot. Well, that is a story for another time. Right now, we got Gordon Ramsay going one-on-one -on -one with Jack and... Yes, the Hell's Kitchen Championship is not on the line in this matchup. Oh! But a spot oh, inside the, but a spot inside the Elimination Chamber is. Jobber right there. And Gordon Ramsay and now up oh, missed the cutter attempt. There you see now Ramsey sending Jack into the ropes. Oh! Now, uh, what is the Elimination Chamber for? Is this for the UCWL Championship? No, it's actually to determine a new number. Actually, to determine who will be next in line for a shot at the UCWL Championship. Oh. 
Yes, the winner of the Elimination Chamber match will get a UCWL Championship match at our at the Mega Event following Act of Power. Ooh. Jesus. What that Mega Event Mega Event's name is, I have not been told yet. Oh. And look at this. There's Web now, Jack. Oh, no. Oh. Gordon oh. Ramsey slamming, slamming Jack Terry to the turnbuckle post. Something he probably has done to contestants on Hell's Kitchen. I wouldn't put it past him to do that. You need to cook the Wellington thoroughly. You fucking donkey. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'll admit that sounded more like Shrek than Ramsey, but okay. They're both from Scotland. <laughs> You're stupid, don't get <laughs> In any event, Gordon Ramsey. Lift him up. Oh, God, teardrop suplex there. And down goes Jack. No. Oh. 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 Gordon Ramsey completely... Oh, he undercooked it. that. He undercooked that maneuver. And now a higher whip. Oh, hits the drug. Like we mentioned before, William Wallace and Skeletor have already qualified for the elimination chamber. Now, oh, cake to the entry. After this match, is we're gonna know half the field. So who? Oh. So for those that probably missed a uh, couple episodes, oh, oh neck breaker! Who are the current participants in the elimination chamber? I just said it. SRH, William Wallace, oh. and Skeletor. Right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm I'm really focused on the match as we see that uppercut, and now, Jack, yeah, neck breaker once more. Another neck breaker there from Jack. And he and falls it up, running kick. drop kick to the side of the head. And a, oh, reversal there. And crazy flow DDT. over DDT. Gordon Ramsey now. Over, another oh, DDT. another DDT. Of course, I know. I know there's act I know this won't be the only elimination chamber qualifier. So I know there's gonna be one Jesus. more. But I don't know who's gonna be participating in that matchup. Nice uh Jack O'Matic there from Jack and now Oh hits the hits the knees right there. Actually more of a more of a diving forearm to the forehead. Yeah, but his knees connected. Jack now. Look at this. Oh, Saturday DDT. DDT. And the cover. One. No. Only a one count there. Oh, Jack missing the kick. Nope. Another DDT. Did you see the way Jack landed? Yeah, Jack landing. Uh-oh. And, oh, oh the F word. Warren Ramsey calls that move the F word. Oh, oh that's not Jack. Jack fighting back. Oh, look at this, Jack. Jesus. Blue Eco Bob. And now Jack could be. He's feeling supercharged here, folks. Jack. And Ramsey. I thought Jack was trying to set up for the Eco Maker. Oh, this could be There's it. Him no! <laughs> Instead of single knee gut buster. And a clothesline depositing Gordon Ramsay to the outside. So far, a very back and forth match between both competitors. Jack gonna try to stay on Gordon Ramsay as much as he can. It, it uh, looks like Ramsey was trying to avoid Jack as much as he could. Wait, oh, God, it, oh, God, this? oh, God. Oh! Jack! God. Oh, no. Back first into the barricade goes Gordon Ramsey. 
Oh, and Jesus. Oh, implant DDT on the outside. Ramsey, though, blocked the forearm and went back into the ring. Over our suplex. Oh, no. Board Buster. Board Buster connects there. And Jack definitely, uh, definitely keeping the momentum. Uh, the momentum came strong here. Jack now oh, Jack. with Ramsey. Oh, is this the eco maker? No. No. Another, Another gut buster. buster. Fans are on their feet. They are nuts. Jack now on the middle rope. Measuring Gordon Ramsey. Oh. They went for some kind of diving uppercut, but he missed. And Ramsey. Another, Another F word. Another F word from Gordon Ramsey. And an elbow drop Jumping follows it up elbow. with a kip up. A little bit of showboating there from Ramsey. Oh. Right hand block there. Jack now. Another blue we go bomb. Here's the cover. And the cover. One. One two, two. No. Oh. Oh, Jack, this time he could be going for it. Jack Scott, Gordon Ramsay up. And the Eco Maker. And the cover. One, two, two no. no. Gordon Ramsay kicking out of the Eco Maker at two. And Jack can't believe it. Basement draw kick there, and I can't believe it. That 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 was a that looked like a three. That looked more like a three than a two. Now this oh standing drop kick there from Ramsey. Oh, nice uh, leg drop to the leg there, damaging the uh, ligaments there of sorts. And now the cover one, no, only a one count there from Warren Ramsey. Now here's something to think about, V-Pac. Just real quick. What if perchance Gordon Ramsay wins? Oh, and we got a bleeder. That means Jack is raw. Um, it, it, sorry. What if Ramsay won and then went on to the Elimination Chamber? Won that. Then went on to face whoever. Whoever is UCW a world champion. Oh! Wow. That... Is it and a won that. Would that mean that Gordon Ramsay would be one of the oh, one of the first dual champions recognized by UCWL? It, one of one of the belts being unsanctioned. I'm I'm not entirely sure what that would mean. Right, Gordon Ramsay just hit another F word, followed up with that kick, and oh, the last Jack. Jack. Escapes out of the head scissors. And now Gordon oh. Ramsay. Oh! oh! Right to Hill's Kitchen. Right to Cover. Hill's Kitchen on a jack. One, two, and, and this one's over. And Gordon Ramsay has qualified for the Elimination Chamber at Act of Valor. Here is your winner advancing to the Elimination Chamber at Act of Valor, Jack Gordon Ramsey. And there you see Gordon Ramsey with that Hell's Kitchen title. He's now entered the Elimination Chamber. He's going to join William Wallace and Skeletor. Yeah. Of course, that is half the field now. Gordon Ramsay with a hard-fought victory over Jack. 
Man, wait, what's going on here? I don't think he's done. Oh, come on! No, he is not. He is stomping the living holy hell out of Jack. What the hell is that about? We'll be right back. Okay, motherfuckers, I'm multi-time champion Mason Chronic, and I'm here to talk to you about some fucking anime. Are you a fan of Dragon Ball Super? We got that shit. One Piece? You already fucking know. Naruto? Overlord? Fuck. We even have an anime about two lesbian stepsisters if you're into that shit. Here at Crunchyroll, we offer a wide variety of anime for all you fucking weirdos for free. But you can also subscribe to our premium package for only $6.95 a month. The fuck do you mean this is an ECF commercial? The fuck's an ECF? This is going to reignite the era of wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live for the Royal Rumble. Oh, we're back, and there's the green arrow. He just arrived here as well.
Well, what the hell was that all about, SRH? You know, I heard rumblings about this over in the Staples Center. I, 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 gotta, I, gotta, I gotta talk to Kudo about this. Uh, in any case, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is going to be a six-pack elimination challenge to determine a number one contender for the Cruiser X Division title at Act of Valor. And that's going to be, and that should be a very interesting matchup. I have no idea who's competing in the matchup. SRH, so it's definitely, wait, what the? Who the hell is that? She looks very familiar. Uh, in any case, yeah, SRH has uh, has apparently gone to make a phone call. He's talking to Jimmy Kudo about what just happened in Colson's office. Some lady has just come to the ring. I she looks very familiar to me though. When she's in the ring, she's got a microphone like. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Uh -oh. Oh, that is Falk. Oh, yeah, Falk is associated with the man that's about to come to the ring, apparently. Ed's been having issues with Hollywood Adonis Creed ever since Ed showed up here in UCWL back and unbound. He attacked Adonis Creed following Adonis' match with Daiba Kamikaze. And then again, they had somewhat of an encounter at Prestige in that impromptu tag team match. Gotta wonder what this is about. Looks like we're gonna hear from Ed right now. Maybe he'll finally enlighten everybody as to why he's been attacking Adonis these past few weeks. Oh, wait, yeah. Ed looks like he struck struck a chord with Adonis Creed. That's Adonis' music. Where is he? Oh, wait a minute. Adonis Creed through the crowd. Adonis Creed giving Ed a taste of his own medicine. Hollywood Adonis Creed 
Had enough of what, of Ed's insults. And now Ed. Ed wants nothing to do with Adonis Creed right now. Adonis Creed telling Ed to get back in the ring. Oh, look at this. No, Adonis is going after Ed. He's chasing him all the way to the back. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And just as moments ago, Ed came out and apparently uh, struck a chord with Adonis Creed and ins insulting him. And he was saying his father would say it was a disappointment. Look at, at Creed decided to give Ed a taste of his own medicine and chased him all the way to the back. I haven't told Ed and Falk went into a nearby car and fled. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a six-pack elimination challenge to determine the number one contender for the UCWL Hoosier X Division Championship at Active Valley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the SRH is back, and now we're scheduled for our match that was supposed to happen before the commercial break. Introducing participant number one from Bangkok, Thailand, Adolf. Well, we go from one Street Fighter character to another. The former pupil 
of Sagat. The Jaguar of Muay Thai, Adon, is in this match. Well, Adon's looking uh, pretty confident walking into the ring here. And uh, yeah, uh, about that phone call, um, some details kind of got brought up. Regarding uh, regarding the Nathan explosion, Zeus Alexander thing. That apparently, uh, that apparently Nathan's lawyer did not take a look at. Well, hopefully we'll get more information on that. But all right, so Adon's in this match. Who else do we got? Oh, wait a minute. Participant number two, now residing in Queens, New York, Richard Ryder, Nova! It's the Human Rocket! It is Sir Nova. Is this a uh, Cruiser X Division match? Yes, it is. All right, good, good to know. This is the yeah six pack challenge for the number one contendership for the Cruiser X Division title. And it's been a while since we've seen Nova. Have I commented on another match before? Uh, I believe I believe the only time you have was during that gauntlet for the gold match a few months ago. That might have been it. All right, so now two of the participants. Oh, here comes participant number three. Participant number three from Tail High School, Boxy Ichibandi. Here, and we go from a Marvel character to a Capcom character. It's Batsu oh, Ichimanji hey. from Rival Schools. Oh hey, shout out to Marvel vs. Capcom. Not not the not not it, 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 that, that one sucked. But uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, top tier right there. That was an awesome game. Infinite tried to be an awesome game. Yeah, but there's a the problem. It was infinite. Infinite and bad. But that's besides the point. Bots are looking, uh, looking ready, but I mean, this is a six pack challenge, which means we got half the playing field. I'm about to mention introduce the participant number four. Oh boy. Participant number four from Eastern Europe, Don Pierre. And here's another guy we haven't seen in a while. It's Don Pierre from Soul Calibur. As far as I know, Don Pierre has not been announced for Soul Calibur 6 yet. He, he could be DLC, we don't know. He was DLC for Soul Calibur 5. Maybe for 6. I don't think he'd be DLC two games in a row, but hey, it's Don Pierre is now the fourth competitor in this matchup. He got a huge opportunity here to become the number one contender for the Cruiser X Division title. Here comes, oh, here comes for entry number five. You know it's been a bit more yeah, for this is number five from Dearborn, Michigan. Green Lantern, Simon Baz. It's Simon Baz of the Green Lantern Corps. He's the fifth entrant in this matchup. And wait, oh, hold on. That's all right, Jeff. I'm being said. What? Oh no. Are you serious? I'll be taking that. Uh oh, God. That's all right. I've been told who the final competitor is. I know. 
I'm fully aware. That's why I can't prepare. Yeah, time to get the umbrellas, people. Well, I mean, where's your umbrella? I have my umbrella. Yeah, about that, I have it. But why do you have my umbrella? Where the hell's your umbrella? I took yours. I didn't bring mine. I just wanted you to get wet for once. <sighs> there we go. God damn it. Give me that. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Rain is the sixth competitor in this match, ladies and gentlemen. This is not funny, SRH. I see you smirking. I'm cheesing something serious. And is it me or has Rain always kind of always tried? He, he prides himself on performing to the best of his ability in big matches such as this. It comes up short. Yeah, case, have you noticed this? Yeah, it, it. I have oh. actually. And how many times has he tried to go for a contendership for the Division title? This is his second time. He made it to the final two in the gauntlet for the gold, which was eventually won by Adonis Creed. And oh, there you see a Adon slamming Batsuich Amanji down. So in any case, yeah, yeah. six-pack elimination challenge. There'll be five pinfalls in this match. Last person in the Name ring break. will become the number one contender for the Cruiser X Division title and will challenge Yaiba Kawakazi for it uh, at Active um, Power. Rain, no, no. Ow, 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 no. And look at that, Dom Pierre able to escape out of the hole. And then this is pretty much going to be like a multiple car collision, this match, because it, there's so much action going on, it's hard to, yeah, and, and it's hard how, to keep how up. Ironic, how ironic is this SRH? Nova and Simon Fast facing off against each other. Oh yeah, Marvel the, versus DC. Uh, considering that the Green Lantern Corp and the Nova Corp are oh. very similar to each other. Yeah, but which one had a terrible movie based around them? Um, that would. Oh. Well, actually, that that movie was not did not have Simon Baz in it. That had Hal Jordan. I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, you know, Green Lantern was a bad movie. And then he gets oh god. Or Simon Baz, of course, is the latest earthly to join the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, what's Don Pierre doing? Oh, oh, <laughs> Don Pierre just tied up Rain into a ball and then kicked him in the butt. <laughs> I guess you could call that a humility. Oh, which I'm sure Rain is not a fan of at the moment. You know, oh, oh, god, ow, no. 
No god. No. Oh. Oh. Rain was contorting Don Pierre's fingers. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, oh god. Nova went for a middle roll Phoenix flash and Simon Baz moved out of the way. And meanwhile, Batsu and Adon going after it. And then no. Adon reverses. Oh, hits the uppercut. Or was that a knee? It might have been both. <laughs> oh, look at that Simon. Oh, Don Pierre's doing it again. Oh, right in the butt. <laughs> Humility. One. No. And then Rain kicks out at one. Ah, look at this. Look at look at Nova here. Look at this. Death lived German. Oh well, yeah. Impressive strength there by Nova. Oh, oh, Rain the oh, oh Jesus! Oh, right in the face! We're right in the mush. That could be it for Batsui Jamanchi. Here's the cover. One. Two. And no! Oh, oh. Batsu kicks out at two, just barely. You gotta wonder if uh, he willingly kicked out of his arm, just spazzed up. Or maybe both. And uh, look at this rain. No. Uh, Reversal. Um, he saw it. Um, Pierre lands on his feet. Oh. A lot of action it, here. One of, one of these six men are bleeding right now. Yeah, I, th I think it's Simon Baz. Oh, God. Wait, look at this. Batsu. Batsu. Look at this. Oh. Frackin' Frick. That could be it there for Adon. One. Two. No. Oh, no, Adon kicks out at two. Jesus. With Dom Pierre. Bulldog from Dom Pierre. And Baz. Into the middle rope, calling out Nova. Oh, missed the neck yeah. breaker. And, yeah, there you see Adon reversing. I think Boxy might have been trying to go for the burning rush. Oh, God, look at, look at. There's a sent out bomb. Well, this Adon now. Oh, oh. End of the face of Boxy. What is he calling oh. that move? I, I, I don't know what Adon calls that. Actually, no, actually, no, I do know what uh, Adon calls that. Uh, he calls that the Jaguar Revolver. There was like 45 things that happened within that like five second time frame. Yeah, Can also, Nova, that really yeah, Nova hit the gravimetric blaster on a Simon Basman. Did go over the cover. Oh! Tossing Don Pierre like a sack of potatoes as well. Going after the legs. No more kicking yeah. people in the face for you, Dom Pierre. Oh, nice set tough from Adon. Simon Baz now. Oh, Tornado DDT. And Dom Pierre Crucifix, no pin attempt, and Adon is staring in the ragu. Jesus. Oh, here's the cover. Two. And. Adon is gone. out. We have our first elimination. Adon eliminated by Batsu. Oh, no, 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 no. Don Pierre, come on. Have a... Oh. Have a soul, man. Meanwhile, Batsu with that snake eyes on the on the Simon Baz. Adon Simon was able to swing Batsu. What's Don Pierre doing here? Oh! oh. That's Simon Baz with a 450. We've seen Simon Baz use that move before to put away his opponents. Uh, uh, sorry, just just seeing just seeing Don Pierre do that uh, single knee face buster right there. Just, ugh, that's always brutal to watch. As you see Rain going after the legs of Don Pierre. Oh, oh god, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh god. Did, did oh, none of these men have a soul? 
And Rain. Oh. Axe kick there from Rain. Well, that's Dova. What's this? Jesus. Well, that move looks like familiar. The... Yeah. Can we call that the uh, Novenator? Uh, let's not say we did. Bots. Okay. I thought Botsu was going to try something there, but Don Pierre blocked it. Wait, what's Rain doing? <laughs> Fisherman suplex there from Rain. Brutal looking one, too. And no, only a two count, and we see a sit out bomb from Nova. Oh, Goldberg and Insiguri missed. Oh, spinning kick. And a chop. Another chop. And look at that. Woo! Lordy. You know, oh, this oh, now. What, what's oh Rain doing? Oh. oh, no, not again. Not the contortion. <laughs> no. Yeah, it looks like Rain and Dom Pierre are now double teaming bots, which Amanji. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Centurion Face Buster from Nova. One, two, no. Only a two count there from Don Pierre. Back suplex from Simon. Simon Bass now on the middle rope. He's measuring Nova. Oh! And I think he was measuring Nova. But instead landed on. Oh, Rain's got Nova. Rolls this move. The, oh. the bubble burst. Sorry, what? Oof. That's why. But can't capitalize on the pinfall of Simon Bass. Hit him with a double D face buster. It oh, nice counter there from Simon Bass. One, two. And, and Rain. Rain's gone. Once again, choking out the bat. Oh. Now we're down to four. And now Batsu kicks out at two. Remember what's at stake here. One of the oh, oh, one of these four men is gonna challenge Yaiba Kamikaze for the Cruiser X Division title at Act of Valor. And who do you got, SRH? Who do you think is gonna win this? Um, of this of this pack right here, I'm going with Nova. And, oh! Simon Baz though showing not just he can fly, but also has strength. I think Simon Baz actually might win this. Look at this! Oh, nice counter there from Nova. Oh, oh Jesus! That fireman's carry roundhouse kick from Batsu. Here's the cover. One, two. Ah, no. Oh, Dom Pierre still in this. Oh, look at it. Oh, I thought Simon Bass. I thought was going to go for the 450. Oh, this Bass yeah, now look. sends Nova into the corner. Oh, God. Oh! Batsu! GTS! Off the ribs! Bam! Burning rush! Batsu with the burning rush on Don Pierre. Here we One, the cover! Two! No! No, but not succumbing to that, that uh, 450. Here's the cover from Batsu! Two! And no, oh, Don Pierre! Batsu wasted too much time, oh, and Don Pierre was able to kick out. God. Nova. One. Cover. Two. Eight. Oh, Simon Pass is gone. I'll be a monkey's uncle. Now, it is Marvel versus Capcom versus uh, the Koei Tecmo, I believe, right? Didn't Namco. they make Soul Calibur? Namco. And I Namco. It's the battle of fighters here. 
Well, technically, Nova's not a, from a fighting... Well, Nova wasn't a fighting game, but he's not originally a fight, fighting game character. Well, one of these three men is going to challenge Yaiba Kamikaze. It's down to Batsu, Nova, and Dom Pierre. Oh, Jesus. That's Nova and Batsu. Oh, Dom Pierre. No, Nova lands on his feet. And a whip into the buckle. Oh, oh Jesus. the running drop kick. Hand on that ground. The Dom Pierre. Batsu. Referee Brett Chan cut a position too. And no, no. Dom Pierre kicks out. All over the top of the forehead there by Batsu. And now good. sending Dom Pierre into the corner. Oh. Oh, okay. Nova interrupting the exchange with a back suplex driver. Oh, look at this, Batsu. Again, Fireman's carrying a roundhouse kick to the back of Dom Pierre's head. Now, look at this. Oh, oh Frankensteiner. Frankensteiner. Inverted Frankensteiner by Nova. But Batsu blocks the snap suplex. Now he's cranking the neck here. Oh, Batsu now. Measuring Nova. Nova with the reversal. Yeah, but he's caught by Dom Pierre, though. Sniper takedown from Dom Pierre. Oh, oh Jesus. Nova avoiding both kicks. Oh, oh float over DDT there by Dom Pierre. That's a brutal DDT. Good thing Nova's got that helmet on. Jesus. Hurricane Rana there by Batsu. I gotta wonder if Gaiva Kamikaze is watching this matchup very closely, SRH. Uh, I would I would expect so. Okay, here's now the, the cover. cover. Top here after One, the bulldog. Two. It, and Nova's gone. Wow. It's down to Batsu and Dom Pierre. One I'll give Nova all the credit in the world. He took pretty much everything both those men had at and then some and at the same time oh god regal flex one two no only a two count after the regal flex it's down a box it would dump here one of these two men is gonna get the shot Batsu oh and dead Batsu cover. the cover one, one two, two and, and Batsu Oh. Kabaji is oh finally going to get a match on the main show of a mega event. He's been on the no, he's, not. he's getting a title match. Yeah, he's been on the pre-show the past two mega events. And now Boxu's finally going to get a match on the main card. And for the Cruiser X Division title. I mean, Basu fought tooth and nail. He probably lost the tooth and chip that nail. Here is your winner and new number one contender for the UCWL Cruiser Exhibition Championship, Basu E.G. Monty. Congratulations to Basu Ichimaji. He's going to get a shot at Yaiba Kamikaze in the Cruiser Exhibition title. Orlando, Florida at Active Valor. And that should be a hell of a match, SRH. He beat five other men. He deserves this. Congratulations again to Batsu Ichibaji. 
Hard fall, but oh, wait a minute. Yaima. Yaima Kazi. Oh, oh right. Sneak right. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. Watch who each sending us this direct message to the Cruiser X Division champion. We'll be right back. Sucker tried to blame me, but you never paid me, never Oh no, you didn't Payback is it coming, you will be running forever Oh no, you didn't Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem Oh no, you didn't I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe me Oh no, you didn't 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 oh, no, Oh no, you didn't pay me what you owe me So now it's over for you Yo, yo, check it oh, out Oh no, you didn't First you try to trap me, then you bust a cap in my ass Oh no, you didn't such humiliation will bring annihilation at last Oh no you did It will be delicious when I get vicious tomorrow Oh no you did There's no second chances, you will do the dance of sorrow
and gentlemen, this next contest is an Elimination Chamber qualifying match and is set for a long Introducing first, from the Australian Wasteland, he is the Road Warrior, Mad Max! And we're back on episode 25. We just heard from William Wallace after what Android 13 said about him earlier. We heard from him, but did we understand a single thing he was saying? I did. Don't, don't about bloody contraption, about a set and... And bloody face? Uh, what? How kind of language is he speaking? He's Scottish! I get it. The Scottish people can also, you know, form sentences properly. Well, in any case, we're set for our Elimination Chamber qualifier. His Mad Max is in the ring. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, Christopher the Saint Samuels. And here comes Christopher the Saint Samuels, who competed in that, well, one of the battle royals at Prestige. Yeah, he did. He, came up he had a pretty good showing, too. Even though he came up short in that matchup. And also, let's not forget what happened last week with Christopher Samuels preventing Gregory O'Gallagher from beating down his op O'Gallagher's opponent after O'Gallagher tried to add insult to injury and then called him out on it. Well, you gotta wonder if Gregory O'Gallagher is watching this, considering, considering that fact alone. Well, in any case, this is our second Elimination Chamber qualifier. Earlier tonight, we saw Gordon Ramsay qualify. He will. So we're gonna find out who will join Ramsay, William Wallace, and Skeletor. Oh, nice wrestling takedown, oh, Mad Ooh. Max. Gonna be one of these two men. Is that gonna be the last of them for tonight, or is there yeah, one more? That's gonna be the last one for tonight. Because coming up after this matchup, oh, it's Christopher Samuels Oof. land on his feet, hit the backbreaker. And coming up after this matchup, SRH will be the contract signing for the UCWL Championship match at Active Valor between the Green Arrow and Light Yagami. Oh, really? Huh. Christopher Samuels now measuring Mad Max. Oh, nice drop kick there. Yeah, did you see the height on that springboard drop kick as Mad Max gets sent to the outside? Took a you know, I find it an interesting contrast in, uh, in character, let, let's say, between Mad Max and the Saint. Oh, God! Sit out, sit out Crucifix power bomb there by the Saint. What were you gonna say, SRH? I was gonna say if uh, if the Saint doesn't uh, if the Saint doesn't play his cards right in this match, Max could send him straight to Valhalla. And oh god! Except Mad Max is not a Viking. But have you not seen the movie? I've seen Beyond Thunderdome. 
You need to watch them all. Because the segments are all crazy about, about Valhalla. And I did you, you got the man and in your, I did in your see, show. And oh. I did see the latest one, Fury Road. I, then I, how did you not get the reference? Probably because I only caught like the last 45 minutes of it. Oh, boy. That, that is a conversation for uh, something else here. I know, as Mad I, Max. I know, I know. I'm, I, I, oh, I do plan on seeing the other movies. Jawbreaker there. Yeah, these men are duking it on the outside. That's probably in well within Mad Max's wheelhouse here. He does fight rather dirty. Oh! Just, or at least he has a set list of dirty tactics in his repertoire when he needs them. You gotta understand where this man's from. That's all he can fight. Oh! Backdrop back suplex. suplex. Right next to the Dutch announce table. Our Dutch announce team better be careful. They don't want to get in the middle of the action. No, otherwise their faces might get spray painted in chrome. And now the cover. One, no. Only a one count there from Mad Max. Oof. Max just, just giving him a right, giving him a kick. And, oh. and the same, reversing into a DDT cover. One, no. Yeah, Mad Max looked like he was going to try and go for a, a spine buster or a sidewalk slam. But Chris, he was going for something, and Chris, Samuels had a. Uh, Samuels other plans countered for it. it. And the Saint. Oh, we see Kick. Christopher Samuels do this before. Take him. Lucha Boy, style look at that. drag. And now, Christopher Samuels could be going for the Faith Breaker. He's Fedrick. Wait, what the? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Gregory O'Gallagher. What the hell is he doing here? He's not scheduled to be here. And oh wait! Oh, Mad Max, a distraction from O'Gallagher, and he's still making his way to the ring. It distracted Samuels enough. Ah, oh, Mad Max, Fury Road. One, two. Oh, come on! Mad Max has qualified for the Elimination Chamber and Act of Valor thanks to Gregory O'Gallagher. Well, on. Let, let me play Devil's Advocate. We don't necessarily know Mad Max was in the focus on the fact that Gregory O'Gallagher. Oh, he could have done what... He could have been doing what the Saints should have been doing. Here is your winner advancing to the Elimination Chamber and Act of Valor, Mad Max. And that is focus on your opponent. And now Mad Max joins William Wallace, Skeletor, and Chef Gordon Ramsay inside the Elimination Chamber. Uh, still, I believe this thing was robbed here. Oh, come on, that one! Oh, come on. Gregory O'Gallagher now. Assaulting Christopher Samuels. Are you are you gonna are you gonna condone this to SRH? Oh, drop kick there. Condone what exactly? Now he's. Uh, what is this? Is this necessary? Oh, oh, come on! The Kino lock. On oh, a Kino body clutch. On oh, a. Christopher Samuels, he's this isn't you. He's not even scheduled to be here. Come on, what, did, what did Gregory? Get, get, get. What did Gregory O'Gallagher say? Or, or around the, around the first time he showed up, what was it? Unbound? What did he say he was gonna do? He was gonna make a name, and make he was. He said he was gonna make sure everybody knew his name, and that if there was anybody that would question who he is, it would be sent to irrelevancy. That was his promise. Oh, come on. Th this is uncalled for, though. Come on. Get Referee, get the hold off of him. 
Um, obviously, the ref is more. Are going to the back of his head. This is, this obviously, is getting scary. Obviously, Brad Chan's. Obviously, Brad Chan is focused on the fact that Gregory O'Gallagher is so flexible. He wants the Kino Body experience. This was completely uncalled for. The arrogance of this man is unbelievable. Hey, when you are the rich kid, Jesus, you have privileges. We need some help out here for Christopher Samuels. And who knows, maybe they'll get a pay raise because of Gregory O'Gallagher. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, on Showdown 25. And if you're just joining us, this is what happened. Christopher Samuels had his match with Mad Max 1 before Gregory O'Gallagher showed up, distracted the Saint, which allowed Mad Max to capitalize, hit the Fury Road, and qualify for the Elimination Chamber at Act of Valor. But it didn't end there. And then Gallagher attacked Christopher Samuels and then put him in the Kino body clutch and held on to the hold until O'Gallagher until Christopher Samuels' eyes went to the back of his head. It was a very scary situation. Christopher Samuels had to be held to the help to the back afterwards. Well, I mean, if if Samuels was you know, one, if Samuels was focused on his opponent, he wouldn't have lost. And two, if you know, he kept a glance over at Gregory Gallagher while capitalizing on his opponent. And I don't mean like a full stare, I mean just like a slight glance. Because when you kick somebody off, you have to have eyes in the back of your head, always. But you also can't forget what's in front of you. So it's that weird little balance of the two that Christopher Samuels does not possess. Well, in any case, SRH, we want to thank we came as Romans. We want to give a shout out to We Came as Romans for Cold Like War, which is the official theme song for Act of Valor. 
you get that you get the song anywhere on iTunes and Spotify or wherever music sold. In any case, earlier tonight, Boxer Ichimanji defeat won the six pack challenge. He will challenge Yaiba Kamikaze for the UCWL Cruiser X Division title at Active Valor. And what a match that should be, SRH. Absolutely. Hopefully, uh, they do something about that metal arm. But in also, any case. Also, the Big Bang Theory will put the UCWL Tag Team Championships on the line against Rocksteady and Bebop. Rocksteady and Bebop have been dominant. Again, the Big Bang Theory come up with a way to win. We'll find out at Active Valor. We'll also got this match. The contract signing for this match is going to take place momentarily as Green Arrow will defend the UCWL Championship against Light Yagami. Light right now in physical possession of the belt, but Green Arrow still the rightful champion. And then we got this match, the Elimination Chamber. We know four of the six men in that match, SRH. William Wallace, Skeletor, Chef Gordon Ramsay, and Mad Max have all qualified. Two spots remain. We're gonna find out the, who the final two competitors will be on episode 26. The Valor is starting to take shape. It's going to take place in a few weeks' time, live from Orlando, Florida. And ladies and gentlemen, we're now getting set for the contract signing for the UCWL Championship. As here, we're going to take it up to General Manager Phil Coulson. Yagami, who at Prestige stole the UCWL Championship after he came up short in that triple threat match. You know, I think there's a few times where I would ever agree with Zahaya. I, I believe Zahaya said this. But oh, what a freaking loser. Light Yagami did not get pinned at Prestige and decided to take drastic measures to get what he wanted, a one-on-one -on -one shot at the UCWL Championship at Active Valor. He threatened to throw that title in a crematorium in a funeral hall of SRH. That man in his way. should be suspended. Luckily, Green Arrow was able to talk down Colson from doing anything drastic. He said, say, he, said, he, he, said he told him to give Light Yagami what he wanted, not because he was afraid of, destroy, of him destroying the belt, because he knows he can beat Light Yagami. Well, I mean, when you look at the record, when you look at the card on prestige, the aftermath of it, he did beat Light Yagami. Even if he didn't pin Light Yagami, he still beat him. And Light Yagami can't handle the fact that he was bested once again.
comes the rightful UCWL champion, the Green Arrow. Of course, like we said, Light Yagami's in physical possession of the title belt, but Green Arrow is the recognized UCWL champion. Yeah, and the only thing we recognize with Light Yagami that should be is, is his status in the unemployment. But again, that, that's just that's just me me saying this because it, it's just absolutely despicable holding in, holding the company's top prize hostage just because you couldn't get the job done. And I, I hope Light heals me too. If he has an issue, he can take it up with me or WFS management. Well, both men have signed the contract. And look at this. The two minute. Oh, wait. Why y'all gonna be trying to sucker punch here? Now, Green Arrow making a pay Good. for it. Get him. Get those hands. Green Arrow attacking Light Yagami. Please, please do it some more. I don't care if this is biasness. Green Arrow Lance now. had this coming. Oh, Lance please, had this coming no, for... Oh, no! Oh! Light Yagami countered it. Light Yagami now. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, DDT. Roll pump DDT from Light Yagami. Oh, now. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. No. Just like at Prestige. And now what? Well, there's a table right there. And contract oh, signings God. and tables don't get along. Wait, Light Yaga? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh God! Oh. A death note through the table! It, oh, God. He's not done. He's, and now what? Oh, and a, and a, a third. Jesus. 
Light Yagami has laid out the UCWL champion. After he blocked the Queen's Gambit, he hit that roll pump DDT and then hit three death notes. One through the table. And then one on the scraps. That's despicable. It is despicable. And now look at this. He's telling the referee to hand him the... Oh, come on. That belt does not belong to you. I hope that ref gets fired. And where the hell did Colson go? And another question, why didn't Colson take the belt with him if he was going to run off? This is unbelievable. Is this, is this, a, is this a sign of the future for UCWL SRH? If that's the case, it might end up hitting a uh, cancellation there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for you on episode 25. We'll see you next time.